Go that way. Also, Josh, yeah, I was going to say. I got a pull up. Oh, okay. So, the Joe list match, I think that's the winners right here. Yep, that was uh, two, what? For shopping list? Yep. I feel like that guy is high key going to win that match. I don't know. That's fair. Oh, like, Game and Watch. Is that who he plays? Yeah, and he's like, he does really well at four way tournaments. Yep. I mean, I was about to say, you must not know the Legends of Love. Oh, I know the Legends of Love. I got cooked by Love. That was sad. Love graciously allowed me to go like four and two or wherever I am. Oh, I'm still, I still need to, to finish out the two first, but. Oh, yeah. And then there was two other sets. Yep. Uh, the other one. Oh, shit. I'm like five and one. All right. Um, I think it's loser side. It was the Vion set of their mouth to play, but. You got you. Chad Iron Chest. Oh, no, they're still playing. Okay. okay. And then Browery and Silas. Oh, okay. okay. Should be it, right? Go get yeah. it done. Oh, it was uh, low spats. That was pretty sure it was going to go. Do you all love? I'm gonna get you that connect for you, ASMR. So All which right. match was he talking about then? Well, these guys are getting the scores figured out. Yeah, we are going to get reset. right in the things here. Or, yeah, reset match. Yeah. I am also going to get your labels up. That was the his, his match before that he was talking about. So yeah, those are... So, go. After you... Uh, Sunny well, Sloth. You, you so At this point, <laughs> an SP <laughs> Classic. Yeah, you play Choker List. I can fuck both these guys. Nay, hey, yeah, I mean, these guys suck. Let's be real. You want to finish typing yeah. that in? You want capitalization? Yeah. That's tough. Oh, now it's all caps. Okay. Oh, this guy's left clicking. We're professionals. It's fine. There we go. I connect four. I don't know shit about connect four. Now, in the recent history, Owen, my boy, my sloth, has been doing very well against Sunny. Not in doubles. Man, I don't give a fuck that y'all get your protractors out in the lab and learn all the angles for all the throws, man. Come on. But uh, anyway, they're keeping things really close. Um, for those continual viewers of the Michiana Smash ecosystem, you'll know that Sloth did very well against Sunny. Uh, just last Friday for Bendix. Uh, oh, I was asked for it, but you know, it's fine. Um, I want to say he took it winner's side, like 3 1. Like, literally got Sonny to switch to a Lucina, a character he essentially doesn't play, uh, just as sort of a last ditch effort for the matchup. But I say that, and, you know, Sonny's still got a little lead here, actually. Um, Obviously, if you're both of these players, you know this is this is winners finals. Yeah, we should uh, we should oh, get yeah. that updated right. as well for the folks out there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, like this is probably essentially. I mean, I I don't doubt you, my boy, my trivi, but uh, like this more may more or less be you know decisive to who wins this bracket, just because obviously you know being in grants, not having to deal with the reset, so obviously useful. Both these players, I don't think particularly known for their phenomenal loser side comebacks either. Well, I mean, uh, neither one of them are usually in losers. Very true. I know Sloth has reset a bracket once or twice, but uh, I don't think it's ne necessarily a shtick. He's, uh, he's he's human like the rest of us. But uh, Sunny, as I'm you know not paying attention, talking about match histories, <laughs> has like an entire stock lead, and, and no, he doesn't. Gone. That's crazy. Uh, and he's exactly one Birdman combo away from uh, being in an even game. So, but again, I mean, he has grenade. This is this is a uh, kind of interesting because honestly, I don't actually watch that much of the uh, the matches between Sloth and Sunny. So, I meant to, but I had it on and I posted. Ooh, did he up tilt the Phantasm? Yep. That was a really good call out from Sunny. Hmm. Yeah. Getting right into it. Wow. Yeah, he wants it. Sloth, uh, of course, as a point of controversy, was seeded first for this bracket, much to the dismay of Sunny. 
Uh, these guys are fighting for pride right now. It's more than just the bracket. Slots on the heels and all those top guys in South Bend. Sonny definitely doesn't want to take that uh, sitting down. Exciting game boy, they both start pressing the B button. Well, I mean, I don't know. Neither of these characters, like, I guess Falco has the jump height, but, like, neither of these characters has great, like, movement attributes. So, like. I don't know, Snake, I mean, Sunny Snake specifically. His movement's just like, Yeah, I just mean, like, you're not closing distance quickly no. as either of these characters. So, like, inevitably, there's gonna be a lot of sort of just shimmying. Of course, as we're seeing, both, you know, really playing very vertically. The scary thing with this matchup is like if either one of them makes a single mistake, it's like a quick seven. Oh, 100 percent. I mean, it's tough when you're Sunny because like I don't know, you have to be a little more creative, obviously, as Snake to be able to rack up that damage. Sunny, obviously, very capable of doing that, but you got to string together more stray hits, almost like you're a sword character. Like you're not confirming, you're you're just kind of positioning. Uh, but Sunny's making it work. Dig him, he stuck him. Yikes. That was a really good F smash. Wow. Basically did an even game here. I mean, particularly with Falco Advantage State, like really anything can happen right now. I'm trying to shine the Nikita, not gonna work out, but Sunny didn't really get anything out of it. Yeah, I mean we got a keep away game. At the end of the day, like this is just kind of how the matchup goes, right? Like, Snake wants to throw shit at you. Falco doesn't like having shit thrown at him and has, you know, one of the best reflectors in the game. I think it's the best. It's so good. It's frame one. Yeah. Lasts for a long time. Loki, almost a good get off me tool as yeah. well. If you like, you know, box, think yeah. of the actual hitbox exactly. But one thing I'm curious to no, know, I haven't really been paying attention. Do you know how laser interacts with, like, grenades? I haven't seen it much. I would imagine just what? blows it up. Oh, yeah, because obviously, like, a character like Joker, obviously, you just shoot gun, and then it blows up, like, all the grenades for free. I, I mean, even if the interaction's the same, I guess you have to be a little more, um, you know, particular about your aim as Falco than you would with Joker, because you don't have that stream of projectiles. I'm trying to essentially understand why Sloth would opt to use Reflector instead of something like Laser. Oh, that was so tough. That was so tough. Oh, okay. Sloth decisively saying, no, nope, you're not getting a lead on me. If you're winning, we're going last hit, baby. That was really good. Now, Falco reflects it is double damage, right? I don't know what, exactly what the multiplier is. I'm not I'm not super in the know on all that stuff. I don't know if play characters with reflectors. But, um... It definitely adds uh, a solid amount of damage. And I guess at least the benefit, as we saw in one of those previous interactions, is that like, it also reflects the angle, right? So Sonny threw it down at kind of a 45, and it went back up in that same direction. Right. He's really able to pull him out of the air, which is super nice. Yep. Uh, might be death. Okay. Clean stuff coming out from Sloth. My phone might just be. Oh, yeah. What's up, dude? Yo. I'm the backup commentary. This is good. In case you guys aren't up to talk. Pretty soon there's going to be a commentator team kill, so. <sighs> Back at it. Um, Sloth opting to go Smashville? Or no, that, like that's that. Sunny, yeah. Okay. That makes makes sense. sense. He's got the surface area from the platform. C4 is going to be a lot more threatening. Stage overall, not so big, of course. Uh, I think Smashville is probably Snake's best stage. Or one of them. I can see it. What do you mean, boss? Yep. I told you it was going to keep it. Do you want the farmer done? Yeah. 
over P this weekend? Got it. Well, yeah. I mean, I can definitely see how this could be a very strong stage for Snake. Of course, the explosives just covering so much real estate, right? Like, I mean, a lot of people like to think about zoners as like, you have the big stage, whatever. <laughs> like, you can't get to me. You're playing my main game. Characters like Zelda, of course. But on a stage like Smashville. You're just dominating the whole space, and obviously I think they got some gold here. But of course, you are giving them off a huge platform to operate on. Falco, the character, is definitely capitalized on that sort of stuff. <laughs> He's gonna hit you with that shit. He's gonna make it happen. Get fucked, Owen. For whatever reason, my soul tells me that Sonny's catching a Randy up smash. I don't think you're wrong. Well, normally in this matchup, I would think it would be setups in the back air, but for whatever reason. <gasps> yeah, she called it. Yeah, well, there's the back air. They're just nooching it out. Sloth had a little bit of a deficit, but I don't know. They're just kind of scrapping, honestly. Which, you know, I could see as the timer runs down, like, that's just going to be what these kind of games are going to devolve into. Like, particularly on a stage like Smash Hall, right? Like, Falco, not a fast character, definitely able to close space on a, on a stage like this so much better. But to the same point, obviously, explosions cover so much more stage, as I was talking about. Like, it's just going to be kind of all over the place. Sloth definitely seeming pretty eager to get the kill right now. I mean, tends to be a pretty patient player. I might like honestly to see a little more of that from him. I know Snake can definitely snowball on you, but we got stuck. Okay, great parry on the C4. But yeah, I mean, it seems like he's definitely feeling it out a little more. I'm glad to see him not rush. I feel like that's definitely a big mistake against Sunny. Just because Snake. Snake is definitely a character that's capable so much of dealing with like changes in like pace of the game. So many tools at so many different ranges. Okay, so that's three times now I'm down throw that he's ruled to the right. Down throw? Really? Or I'm down, down throw. So like, I feel like Sonny's caught on to that. I feel like the next one's Was he rolling there. right or was he rolling a specific direction? Like oh, rolling away from me. Okay. Yeah, he... I was gonna say that's probably a little bit more important. Just, like, if you're gonna pick one to do most time, it's that. It's no, the I do it's rolling. I do rolling because it's based. Yeah. Fuck you. The no mix up, mix up. Hi, Ferrari, what do you I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't remember if it's mango. Someone was fucking telling me about some top player who like will do the shit when they're in a tech situation where they'll just like essentially flick their stick back and so forth. Random. So circle they don't DI. even they don't even know where they're going. Yeah, yeah. circle di. Like, shout out to shout out to the people who fight Kazi out there. Sunny going up. That's that's yeah, on screen. Right. Perfect. Yeah. I think this is still hella doable for Sloth, but you know. So I just needs that extra Oh! They went back to Smash World? Why? Was he, he was just really feeling I'm I mean I don't know. I don't know if I like that. You see a lot of people ban stages like town against Sloth, but I don't know why necessarily is Falco like you want this so badly. Or like even like why would you not want to go to Hollow Bastion, right? right. A stage with a lower ceiling. You'll be able to get more of those up air conversions. Unless he banned Bastion, but like, I don't know why you ban Bastion and don't ban Smashville. Unless you're super worried about that exact issue. I don't know, man. These guys know what's up. They play each other all the time. Oh, yeah. Take damage. Question. Answer. Hypothetically, Sunny gets blown out right here. It goes to game five. Do you see Lucina come out? No. Not at all? 
I did it last week. He's doing, like, he, the set is just too close. Like, there's no reason. Like, it's one thing if you get shit on and you're like, okay, I need something else. But Sonny literally has a lead right now. Like, if, if, if he's losing this game, like, I, I don't see Slav just washing him on these next two stocks. Like, I think it's going to be close. And I think, I don't know, he's starting to grow belief in his secondaries. But, like, I don't know, man. You're at Winner's Finals, the regional. Yeah. Not a time to fuck around with characters. Get back there. So this is uh, a player that's really good at calling out, like, particularly disadvantaged double jumps, I've noticed. Do this? Sloth. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He'll throw out, you know, his own double jump in such, like, fantastic places. Really good player calling out movement options. Oh, he had a good there. That makes sense. It might be time for a Randy up smash. Mm -hmm. I think an up tilt to back here. Nah, you got it. You're, you're so right. Or maybe a, a cheeky conversion into forward air off state. Yeah, you got it. So when I play both these guys, like damn near 100% of my deaths are the exact same way. Well, yeah, because they have like three kill confirms. Well, I mean, Snake has more than that. Valkyrie has lot, lots of options too. But when I play Sloth, 100 times out of 100, if I die, it's because of up tilt back air. And then when I play Sunny, the majority of the time it's up tilt, just like that. Yep. Okay. I I have faith in Sloth to get this done right now. I mean, oh, absolutely. He's definitely I like I know Sonny's done. Ooh, there you go. I was gonna say I know Sonny's retaliating, but it really seemed like he wasn't losing his composure at all. Going to a quick game five. No one's getting out easy. C-check. C-check for real. Game five. Mm -hmm. My feet are sitting here, actually. Uh, it is. <laughs> okay, back to small battlefield. I mean, once again, like, I see the stage working out for both these characters. Yeah. I feel it's neutral. I mean, the platform play is going to be a little more interesting, obviously, just because C4 isn't going to cover as much stage. But, like, to the same point, like, I don't know, it's just a bigger stage overall. That was an excellent Tomahawk. That it was. Finds them there. Back air. Yep. Something can deny it, too. Oh! How did I go unpunished? Uh, he's going. You can shield grab that. What? What can you shield grab? The uh, side base. Oh, yeah. No, no it's like. Not drop shield, hit him. Shout out to all my people out there. This might be leaking, but I think Falco side B is literally like minus 15 on shield or something. Excellent, Nikita there. Yep. I think he's really good at placing Nikitas in general. Okay. I mean, it might be too early to say. I mean, he has the little lead, of course, but I feel like I see this, this uh, game going slow. I don't know. There's a 30% difference between the two. It's true. I don't know. Like, something of it, he's just playing so, like, rock solid. Right? Like, he doesn't seem shaken at all. He does have the momentum. I'll give him that. And, I mean, obviously, Sonny is a character, a player that's more than capable of dealing with situations like these. But, like, I don't know, man. He just he really doesn't seem phased right now. This is game five. Oh, shit. Motherfucker. Oh, you're dead. Oh, no, you're he not. That was actually was a really the, yeah. good roll. He's been rolling away. That's really interesting because normally Sonny won't count for situations like that by, like, cheating the other direction when he knows he has a C4. That's tough. Yeah, yeah. you're yeah. dead. Let's oh, go, Sonny! We got a heater on our hands, folks. Oh, that was, that was a little too shot. Don't down. do it. Okay, oh. that's a down tilt. I've said it before. Falco down tilt is the snake up tilt of down tilts. <laughs> It's it hits you hard as fuck. It knocks you back so you can't shield grab it. It's terrible. I think snake down tilt is actually the top. No. <laughs> I ain't never seen that shit kill. Uh, I don't think it does. Game five. These guys are duking it out. This is where people get nervy. Oh, somebody blows himself up. Oh, oh the grenade that. clutches it out. You're just getting sent from home. Okay. Oh. Nice grenade. 
Sloth has an advantage here, but not by a wide margin. Finds the back air. Oh, no, it's by a wide margin. This could be it. Ooh, yeah. Finds the cheeky up air. Sloth going to go to winner's side grants. Very good stuff from him. Notre Dame on top, for real. When I go to the zoo, I flip the sloth off. It's so valid. And my favorite time is daytime. When it's Sunny's going to get the run back. Anyway. Shout out to TikTok. I learned today that there were like prehistoric sloths 